you first need to know the sideline hip car to do this and you're going to find a position that you can kind of press that bottom leg up against a wall and then find something that you can hold on to. I'm using about a 60 pound kettlebell there so I can get a lot of umph out of this. You really are looking for objects that cannot be moved. And I'm just really focusing in on what's happening at that hip joint, going nice and slow. Uh, again, you should already know hip cars, you should already know sideline hip cars, but we're just trying to leverage the push and the holding to create a little bit of extra capacity at that hip joint and make this a little more challenging for yourself. I'm really focusing in on like pulling that heel through, driving the heel towards the ground for those. And as I go into internal rotation, making sure my back's not doing too much of the work there. And as always, making sure that it's not doing all that work on the kickback also. You can set up a block behind your back if you want a little bit of feedback there. We're also going to go into straight leg hip cars. You really want to make sure that the quad's working and tight there. I'm trying to eke out every possible little ounce of range that I have. Again, using my leverage points to get a little extra oomph out of this rotating my heel towards the ground as I come back into external rotation. Making sure you're opening up, not spilling the hips back, keeping them stacked as you go through that abduction. And spiraling from that hip joint to get the most rotation external. And as we come through internal rotation, squeezing that out from the hip, turning the toes towards the ground being very mindful of what's happening at the back here. Comboing with passive range hold, horse kicks. So I'll find my active, then passive range. Try and hold range of motion as you let go with your hand and lock the leg out before you lower. Finding active range, pulling to passive, trying to maintain that, use that hip flexor, really squeeze, lock the leg, get the quad working. You should feel the hamstring pulling if it's tight there. Finding active range, passive range, locking the leg. If you need to lower and then continue to try and lock, you can make sure that at some point that leg gets to 100% locked. And again, I'm using the leverage of the kettlebell to put a lot of oomph and a lot of work into this. This should feel like a challenge for you. We're trying to squeak out max range of motion with every little position change. You want to be mindful not to round the back and use excessive back motion to get this done.